This game is tea and is not suitable for kids. <laughs> Don't let your kids watch it! Ah, spoiler alert! Hey there, buddy! And guess. Welcome back to Ace Attorney Investigations 2, everybody. Well, we're in jail for the imprisoned turnabout. And we're about to meet the new prisoner who apparently saw Nightly get murdered. Apparently. Wonder Can you who... move your chair over? Because I'm kind of, kind of little to the Sorry. left. Sorry. I centered <gasps> my chair go. when I was coding there earlier. Go. Anyhow, we're in, we're in the Let's prison. Let's go talk to the monkey. Oh, or can I? Yeah, what's up? Here's our chance, Mr. Edgeworth! While that demon lady's gone, we can snoop around! Demon? Is she referring to Judge Courtney? I don't approve of your words. But let us carry on with the investigation. All right, let's do it. Talk to the monkey. That There's a monkey on that hill, Mr. Edgeworth. Hardly an appropriate spectacle for a prison. When you see stuff like this, you can really feel the tension rise. I hope you're not expecting me to agree with you. Also, Kay, just so we're clear, I don't want to see you climbing that hill. But... Someone's gotta show that monkey who's boss! Don't provoke the monkey. Let's talk to the it is so cute. What's a rabbit doing here? I almost stepped on it! How nice! It's like a zoo! How many times have they said that now? Although, it's the humans who are treated as the animals. Wait, then talk to the guard with the cat! We'll get there. Where does this door lead to? Don't you feel something str some strange vibes coming from that door? Maybe. They've got deadly criminal locked up inside. That certainly is possible. It would be best not to get too close. Ah! Uh, I was just kidding! Kitty! New guard, new voice. Hey, you there? I'd like to ask you some questions. So cute, meow! <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you! Meow! He finally noticed me. By the way... What's this cat's name, Meow? His name is Normal, Meow! Oh, so I know how they must have translated it. There's a way how... Sort of like how dialects in English. You know how it would be like, oh, it's like y'all mm -hmm. versus you all or whatever. In Japan, one of the things that they... Uh, that they it's can like do as a kanji, pun of words. Right? No, a pun on words kind of is you could be like, you could say yo at the end, where it's kind of like, mm -hmm. like, what's up, yo, kind of, but it's like a different meaning. And if you change it to ya, it's meow. Oh. So that's why they kept being like, what's new, meow? What's up, meow? I thought they were just being weird. Nope, that's, that's why, because they can't translate that. <sighs> that's enough. Carry on with your duties. <laughs> what we have here is a failure to communicate. communicate. <laughs> Literally. It's hard to translate that kind of the thing. The courtyard lies beyond these shutters, but they are locked. Freedom is right in front of them, but the shutters are locked up. Life is so cruel. I feel really sorry for them. Who are you feeling sorry for? The animals. This is the animals so sad. You can see the crime scene from these small windows. Mr. Edgeworth, you can't just go peeping in like that. You need to be more sneaky. Check your surroundings. Why? Why must I behave like a common criminal? Huh? I thought you wanted me to teach you my special steal-a-glance technique. I don't need your techniques. Whatever. This bench is quite rusty. Only cats and gummy would sleep on this bench. Indeed. No argument here. Wow! Hello? Is this occupied? Okay, that's not a restroom. Hey guard, do you have a minute? Sir, what is it? Is anyone using that workroom right now? Presently, there's one prisoner working inside. I'm positive he's been in there since noon roll call. We we would like to ask the prisoner a few questions, if that is acceptable. Yes, sir. I'll bring him out, so please wait a moment. Guess it's a him. Again. They wouldn't keep female prisoners and male what prisoners up? in the same prison. I guess that's probably a good thing. I'll leave this to you, Miles. What, what do you mean? Because I don't know what kind of scary guy will come out of that room. Mr. Shields, you're a scaredy cat, even though you're an adult. <laughs> Same to you, Kay. 
Here he comes. They're like, it's Phoenix Wright. I cannot believe we're seeing this idiot again. <laughs> he was put in because this came out on the 10th anniversary of the first oh, game. Oh, that's kind of clever. <laughs> oh, good day to you, sirs. Are you the ones who requested my presence? He doesn't seem like a dangerous criminal. That's the problem. My name is Miles Edgeworth. I'm a prosecutor. What if he killed the guy again? <laughs> I would not be surprised. <laughs> a prosecutor? Is that right? Did we have pain for that one? Yeah. Oh yeah, because he ripped off his hair. I'm Ray Shields, a defense attorney. Mr. Shields? His demeanor completely changed once he saw who we were dealing with. Sorry about that. <laughs> My assistant says strange fiends sometimes. Yeah, I am a- <laughs> He's not a prosecutor. He's just my assistant. Hey, get your act together, Miles. Hmm. I guess I messed up. I forgot about my new job. job. No wonder I thought you were different from the prosecutor who visited me yesterday. Looks like he's already spoken to the best. May we ask you a few questions? Oh yes, of course you may. My name is Frank Sawit. Okay, go for it, Miles. Guess I'll be asking the questions after all. <sighs> Mr. Sawit, you are aware of the murder that occurred oh, wait, here yesterday, correct? Oh wait, he's the correct? one who saw it as well! Yep. This is so... It all comes full circle. <laughs> it really does. Where were you when the body was discovered? I was in this room where I had been working. What kind of work? Well, uh, my goal is to become a pet groomer. Oh look, he's missing a glove. An animal beautician, so to speak. Oh, yes, I was inside cultivating my skills. He's not wearing any gloves. No, look in the front pocket. There's only one sticking Oh, out. that's true. Good eye. In any other prison, such training would be unheard of. That was all. Honestly, I, I did not see a thing. Hmm. Why did he say that? I haven't even asked him anything yet. Which is why, sad to say, I won't be any help to you. Oh, why do you know? Mr. Sawt, I haven't asked you anything yet. No, wait, that's... Even if you were to ask, I would not. You know something, don't you? Yeah, he's the horrible witness that we uh, had the first oh, time. Oh, that's... That is... It seems he is indeed hiding something. Let's try to press it out of him. Ooh, logic chess with our old friend. First, let us assess the layout of the board. My opponent's condition is... Three. I'm afraid I didn't see a thing, so I won't be any help to you. This man's expressions do not change much. It's a true poker face. It may be difficult to read his emotions from his body language. Perhaps I should focus on how he phrases his words. Either that it or, may we, reveal what's on or his we mind. need, um, what is it? Apollo Justice's weird seizure mode, where he's like, whoa, 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 <laughs> The perceived whoa. bracelet. The perceived bracelet. That's what, I, I called it seizure mode. Seizure mode. That's, that's what like, it is. Because his eyes are bugging out. his eyes are bugging happening. out. Oh, no. Also, it looks a, like a, her neck's ever so slightly twitching. Eureka! A, apparently, Frank Sot's also interesting in the Japanese version, where, like, he speaks in, like, the most, like, formally eloquent, like, speech possible, to the extent that okay. it's, like, he's basically butt-kissing everybody. <laughs> I feel like and Wesley Stickler would have done that, too. Oh, yes. Wesley Stickler. <laughs> yeah. I can see how that would work. Now for the opening move, I'll start by asking about who this man is. Remember, so, you play logic. Just. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I'm coming. Even if he hides his emotions, if I push the right buttons, I'm sure I'll cause a change. Begin logic, logic check. Shows. Well, I guess I start with that. Are you involved with this case? Are you referring to the murder that occurred inside this prison? How'd you know that? I had nothing to do with it at all. I guess that would have gotten leaked. The <laughs> warden would have been like, ugh. Just so you know, men. someone died. <laughs> yes. Is that true? Uh, I would never dream of being involved in a murder plot. <laughs> <laughs> How should I put it? <laughs> I'm an upright model citizen, after all. Common sense tells me. An upright model citizen would never have ended up behind bars. Well, well, that is... Tell me what you know about the incident. I already told you I don't know a damn thing! Oh, uh, I, I really don't know anything. Ah, oh, crap. 
Because he changed his speech a little bit. Haven't you realized it yet? I have you cornered. Dang it. Whatever are you talking about? I really have no time to waste. Dah! That was a wasted remark. That's fine. I can just get back there. Even if he hides his emotions, if I push the right buttons, I'm sure to cause a change. I was wondering if you were going to accidentally do it a second time. I thought it started up there. Nope. I, I apologize from the bottom of my heart for that outburst. But I will be of no assistance. Pardon my rudeness. It's just that the murder occurred in this rather confined prison. It seems unnatural that you do not know anything about it. Oh? Er, uh, unnatural? Is that so? Uh, if you're looking for the person who discovered the body, uh, you should try someone else. Is that a little bit different? How did you know we were looking for the person who discovered the body? I don't recall saying a word about that. Are you sure you don't know anything? N no it was merely a hunch I had. I am but a humble pet groomer in training. I honestly have no recollection of the murder. I am positive that this man is hiding something. Yeah, he's got two chess pieces left. For my next move, I'll ask him about his movements on the day of the murder. Get him. This man has suppressed his emotions. By the way, this is a very random question. Do you want to watch Gravity Falls again since we're, like, <laughs> not even done and you've been trying to watch it? Sure, we can do that later. <laughs> okay. I, this is important and I was up late thinking about that. I will expose his true nature hidden beneath that suspicious smile. Let's talk about what happened on the day of the murder. If you truly had nothing to do with it, there shouldn't be a problem, correct? Oh, well, uh, on the day of the murder, there was a lot going on. What was the state of the prison at the time? I don't remember it too well. My memory is rather poor. Uh, what? I don't have enough clues to proceed with this line of questioning. Oh, okay. Maybe I should try another line of attack. <laughs> Let's just talk, man. Tell me what you were doing on that day. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, I was cultivating my skills as a groomer in training. I was trimming the coats of the animals at the time. Didn't the murder cause a panic? I imagine the entire prison must have been in an uproar. Well, but... Th th there was no panic. I could even hear someone's voice. Someone's voice? Judging from the circumstances, I suppose it was a scream that you heard? So you do have a recollection of the murder. You kept insisting that you knew absolutely nothing about the murder. But you do not give credence to your claims. Ah! Uh, well, I thought I heard someone's voice, but... In any case, I don't remember it very well. The scream at the time of the murder. It might be a clue. I better keep that in mind. Not too bad. Yeah, you do really well at the logic chess. Do, do. Pew. Let's try using our clue here. You don't remember? Ridiculous. Didn't you say earlier that you had heard her scream? That wasn't... I could very well be mistaken. At any rate, I honestly do not remember. You still do not remember? Enough with your lies! I ain't lying, you... I mean, I'm telling the truth. In any case, I was absorbed in grooming the animals. By the way, how skilled would you say you are in animal grooming? My technique with the scissors still needs some work. He just like cut one and then like hurt him. But I am very confident in my handling of the animals. 
When the animals became frightened, I calmed them with my gentle hands. Oh, that's absolutely bogus. Frightened? Why would the animals have become frightened? I don't think that's a common occurrence. W well, that's a good thing, isn't it? Did you threaten the <laughs> animals? Perhaps the reason they were frightened was because of someone's scream. Why are you trying so hard to hide the fact that there was a scream? Are you concealing some vital information from me? Dog! Uh, I am doing nothing of the sort. It, it's true that I heard some sort of scream. But I'm not trying to hide it. He's starting to show his true colors. I should be more aggressive with my next move. I'll ask him about the scream. Ooh, I love that painting. <laughs> it's time to give him a taste. Of the futility of keeping a secret from me. Yeah, that's the one to go with. When did you hear the scream? The that's it! I just remembered! A at the time of the murder, there was an event going on. Event? It was the animal show! I had gone there to see it. So you're saying that since you were watching the show, you did not hear the scream? But she was that's completely different from everything you've set up until now. Shut up! So what if it is? I mean, uh, my memory's just so hazy. hazy. <laughs> Stop making your poke face. <laughs> the animal show was very enjoyable. What kind of animals performed in the show? Well, um, I believe I saw a whale. What? Did you ride the whale? <laughs> I want to see that just to It'll just be like... <laughs> Haven't you realized it? I have you cornered. Aw, oh, shoot. Anytime you do the wrong statement, it just does Aw, oh, I wanted the whale. Did you ride the, the whale? whale? <laughs> That's completely different. Dash, droop. Oh, yeah, wait, see. <laughs> you get mad easily, don't you? Some of the logic chess options are hilarious. <laughs> you liar. You didn't see the animal show at all. Ah! Well, that is, I sort of saw it and I sort of didn't. What? He didn't see the show. This could be a clue. Do you know who the scream belonged to? Well, I was mistaken. When the incident occurred, I just happened to be in the courtyard. That's why I, I did not hear the scream. Let's try using that clue. Just how deep are you going to dig your pit of lies? It's obvious that you did not see the animal show. Ah! There's no way out of this. Tell me what really happened. Confess everything you know about the scream. I cannot answer what I cannot answer. I, I didn't hear the scream from the person who discovered the body. I'll make you hear a scream. <laughs> Oh, no, wait, that's wrong. That's strange. Isn't it? Because the victim couldn't scream. Normally, if you hear a scream during a murder, it's usually from a victim. Why would you think the scream was from the person who discovered the body? Because it was a woman, maybe. Oh! M my mistake. How? How did you know the scream was from the person who discovered the body? W well that's because... You're the one who got murdered. <laughs> Should I have waited and seen there? If you have no more use for me, may I leave now? Yeah. I was too passive. I'm gonna have to go all the way back through that stupid yep. thing. Uh, yeah, you're the one who found the book. Why are so many Americans in prison? Why is this out? It's not out, that's just red. Because it's freaking out? <laughs> that means you're getting low on time. Oh. Allow me to answer for you. That is because you're the one who discovered the body. And... The scream that was heard when the murder occurred didn't come from the victim. It came from you when you discovered the body. Ah! J just who do you think you are? It, it is just as you say, but what gives you the right to do this? Hm, <laughs> checkmate. Now I just want to see if it's literally the exact same case as the first one with the thinker. Just, just him. He got stabbed in the neck, though. Yeah, but he discovers the body and he's like, oh no, I discovered I'll the body. I'll pin it on Larry Butts. <laughs> I'll pin it on someone else. It's now clear who discovered the body. Mr. Wellington loves large bananas. You have no more reason to withhold your testimony, correct? D very well, I'll tell you. B but I doubt my testimony is worth hearing. 
Whether or not it is worth hearing is for me to decide. I will expose the truth with my own hands. That is my sole duty. Um, I think you're a little off there, Mr. Edgeworth. What do you mean? We're not trying to expose the truth. We're trying to save Simon. Isn't it our goal to help our clients? I mean, you're not a prosecutor right now. You're a defense attorney's assistant. Hmm. Well said there, Kay. She's right on the money, Miles. The official task of the Edgeworth Law Office is, is to defend our clients. Your old man who founded the firm truly valued the bonds that he had with his clients. So, if you're not willing to do the same, maybe you aren't cut out for this job. I don't want to fire you on the spot either, so have a heart, okay? The heart of a defense attorney, huh? In any case, it's important that we hear the testimony of the person who discovered the body. Start talking, Mr. Sawit. Tell me what happened when you found the body. It's just like old times. <laughs> yeah. I was in the workroom over there practicing my skills. By some chance, I got curious about the adjacent workroom and went up to the door. <laughs> okay. I peeked in through the small window on the door. Then I saw him lying there. A man not moving. Dead. I quailed in fright and found myself letting out a scream. You didn't even enter the room. Also, I don't think there's a window that you can see through from the other place. I don't think you can see it unless you enter the room, right? Let's check the floor plans. The floor plans. So if you're in the prison... Oh, Ugh. there's one and two. Workroom A and workroom B. It doesn't look like they're connected. Doesn't look but like they they're share connected. a wall. It doesn't look like they have a window share. A window oh. share? <laughs> I uh, love window we, share. Oh, wait, can you show me a photo that we took of the man? The dead man? Horace Knightley, you mean? Oh, we don't have a view of the wall. Dang it. Nope. If I may confirm one thing... Yeah, what? You were in the room right next to the one where the dead body was found. Within the prison, we call it Workroom B. And you were in there the whole time on the day of the murder? Yes. After the 7 a.m. roll call, I remained inside the whole time. In this prison, we have roll call three times a day. At 7 a.m., noon, and 9 p.m. And they checked the workrooms during those times, too? Exactly. I see. So during the 7 a.m. roll call, there was nothing to miss. And Knightley's body was not in the workroom yet. Prison roll call notes jotted down in the organizer. That's very helpful. So it sounds like the murder occurred after 7 a.m., huh? And that's right when the animal show started. Correct! The other prisoners went to see the animal show. Meaning anyone who did not see the show does not have an alibi. Do you understand what I'm saying, Mr. Sawit? Y Yes, that is certainly true. H however, I merely discovered the body. His testimony has a clear contradiction. I should press him about that first. Alright, let's rebut this butt. Ooh, that's a good... Ooh, that sounds good. <laughs> it's rebutting butt sounds good. I don't know. By practicing, you mean, of course... Yes, my grooming training. For I am a model prisoner. I somehow doubt that. By some random chance, <laughs> Mo decided to look out the window randomly. <laughs> <laughs> kind of. You were curious about the adjacent room? Precisely. I felt a need to look inside. Why did you feel that way? Because he left his glove in there. Even if you ask me why, I just did it on a whim. So you weren't con concentrating on your training? N no, nothing of the sort. For I'm a model prisoner. You keep your gloves <laughs> in workroom B, right? <laughs> They no, no, gloves? you keep the gloves in your cell. Oh, then probably he left it accidentally. And I was like, oh no. It's just that the other prisoners had left to see the animal show. Which is why I was feeling somewhat lonely. And tired, apparently. Yeah, that's like being stuck in a classroom after school's let out. Y yes that's right. And since I couldn't enter the other workroom, I peeked in through the small window on the door. Yeah, on the door to the room. A small window, so you couldn't get a clear look. Nope. <laughs> look. Indeed, as you can see, there's a grill covering the window. It does not offer a wide view at all. Normally, the guards use it to check inside the rooms, right? Precisely. You seem to be well versed on this matter. <laughs> well, I happen to know a thing or two about prisons, you know. What does she mean by that? 
I'll have to find out the details later. In any case, I peeked into the room from the window. Well, I mean, she did bust Edgeworth out. Then I saw him lying there. Oh, wait. Uh, hold it. Hold it? You knew it was a man right away? First off, um, Frank saw it. You are 47? Wait, wasn't he in his 30s in the first game? I don't remember. That is definitely older than he was, like, a few years ago in the first game. Probably. That's a continuity error. That's you... fine. It was clear, judging from his physique and clothing. Maybe he lied about his age, like, girls oh. lie about their weight. And, and then... age. <laughs> and age. Well, girls don't really lie about their age as much as weight, so... Even the fact that he was dead was as plain as day. You could tell he was dead through that tiny window. Well... It's not the first time I've seen a dead body. What? What? So, you mean... The reason you're in here is because... I'm ashamed to admit it, but it is as you say. However, this was my first time seeing a body that someone else had killed. Also, in his defense, he didn't want to kill the lady in the first case. No, he, he didn't. Just, he knocked her out and then hit her too hard and she died. Yeah. So he's, he's less evil than a lot of the other villains. Still... The fact that he wanted to steal from her, though, is... Oh, yeah, he, he's a terrible person. Do you remember what the scream sounded like? Well, all I can say is that I shrieked at the top of my lungs. Well, I guess that's what happens when you get scared. Yes, it's just as you say. In any case, I let out a scream. He's pretending to be an innocent bystander, but parts of his testimony are odd. Considering his situation and the place he's in... The contradiction should be quite obvious. I'll show him the evidence that proves it. So do you know what it is? He's in the workroom, and then, keep going. He got curious, so he went up to the door. You can't go to the door if you're in the other workroom, right? Right. I can't remember which statement we have to present it on, though. The no, not the chessboard. There's the door sensor that you, like, need the bracelet, and the guards need to deactivate it. Mm -hmm. Mr. Sollett, please stop telling such feeble lies. You don't seem to understand your position. My position? Uh, I used to be a newspaper salesman, but then I took up the pet groomer training. What about that bracelet on your wrist? It proves that you are unmistakably a prisoner. And as long as you wear that bracelet, you should not be able to move around as you please. As soon as you went through the door, the sensor would have sounded the alarm. Oh, uh, that is... Peeking into the adjacent room is impossible, when you couldn't even leave the one you were in. Gah! Woo-wee! That's one, Miles. That was a real humdinger. But does that mean Mr. Sawit didn't see the body? I'm not sure. Perhaps we should let the man explain himself to us. Uh, um, you see, that is, well, uh, forgive me, it appears my previous explanation was lacking. I shall clearly explain how I was able to see the body. Hmm. <laughs> Very well, let us hear your revised testimony. When I found it, part two. There is a rather well-known technique among the prisoners here. If the hand with the bracelet stays in the room, you can step out without sounding the alarm. That's how I was able to peek into the adjacent room. The moment I realized that the man inside was dead, I let out a scream! Hmm. So that means... He kept his arm inside workroom B while he peeked into the adjacent room. I'd appreciate it if you didn't mention this to anyone, especially the guards, okay? You still can't do that, because his arm's not that long. He's lanky calm. Was that what he was trying to hide earlier? I should try asking him for more details about a few other things as well. Look at that weird smile. His, he has no gaps in his teeth. It's literally just one solid row. <laughs> it's like the the whitening toothpaste in the comics. <laughs> yeah. When it just gets rid of the lines on their face. Tell me more about this technique. Certainly. Here's how it works. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was beautiful. That was the best press. All you gain by doing this is a small degree of freedom. Not truly, but it is all that we have left to enjoy. I'm shocked that you enjoy such a thing. 
Have you truly reflected on what you've done? But of course, for I'm a model prisoner. Your definition of model is highly suspicious. Regardless, was that the technique you used? Yes, that is correct. I made sure no guards were around when I did it. That's how you were able to peek inside the adjacent room. Why would you do something so troublesome and potentially dangerous? <laughs> this is a meme. <laughs> oh, I've never seen that. I heard a noise coming from the adjacent room. Actually, I haven't seen any memes really from Ace Attorney. It seemed- that's good. It seemed odd to me as there should not have been anyone inside. Only the ones that you've made. <laughs> so you peeked into the adjacent workroom as soon as you heard the noise? Yes, yes, of course. I peeked in as soon as I could. I see. Is there a problem with that statement? When in doubt, there's a problem. No, there doesn't seem to be a problem with that statement. Please continue with your testimony, Mr. Sot. Certainly. I peeked inside the workroom. The moment you realized the man inside was dead, you screamed. The man inside! The man upstairs. Do you remember what this man looked like in detail? But of course! I am certain! He had blonde hair, and his throat was covered in blood. Do you take me for a fool? That should be obvious. I am merely telling you everything as I saw it, just to be so clear. Uh-huh. Don't defense attorneys love nitpicking over every little detail? <laughs> it's true! I detect a tinge of spite there. Perhaps he had an unpleasant experience with a defense attorney in the past. Yep. <laughs> yes, he did. So he was able to peek into the adjacent was, room by Phoenix keeping one Wright's arm inside the workroom. Court yeah. Thing where it was like, who is the one who died? Um, uh, uh, Cindy Blocks. No. <laughs> Cinder Block. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> but was that really what he was trying to hide? I should ask him for a further explanation. So you looked into the adjacent room immediately after you heard the noise. If that was true, then you should have seen more than just the dead body. You should have seen the person who had made the noise. Th that is, um, well... He looks really shaken. Mr. Sot, answer me. What did you really see? If you intend to remain silent, I will have no choice but to assume that you are complicit to the murder. Oh, um, please forgive me. It's just that I couldn't even believe what I saw myself. It may have been just a dream. I hesitate to even recall it. Tell me what happened. Very well. I will be frank with you. I saw a dog. It was a nightmarish scene. A large black dog was biting into the neck of the victim. What? What did you say? It was a truly hellish scene. That dog! That dog killed him! Oh, I think I'm going to be sick. That's some grade A trauma right there. I was chilled to my very core and let out a shriek. A man eating dog inside the zoo of a prison? I mean, he kind of hated everybody. Black dog. I'm wondering if there will be something, if it's going to be something like uh, the circus case where something provoked the lion. If something bite, provoked the dog to bite. If something provoked the dog to bite, where it's like... He had beef tallow thing. soap on his neck. <laughs> <laughs> no, or if it's something like, oh, the dog has, like, triggers. Because clearly he's, like, a police dog or something. Because he's very... He has a harness thing, and he seems to be well-trained. He had the bell. He had the bell. But it might be he something like... He was not like, wanting to be pet. <laughs> no, he was not. Like a service dog. Um, except for some service dogs I've met. I thought you said circus dog for a second. No. There was a service dog on my college dorm floor that, like, the owner would always be like, okay, like, we're gonna go downstairs, and the dog would just take off running the opposite direction. She's like, come back! Wow. <laughs> the service dog was not very good, but he was adorable. That was everything I saw. Do you believe me now? Yes, I do. I doubt one would be able to lie about something like that. Would you add that to your testimony? Please. Certainly. 